took my car, that reactor, after I had bought it back, see, mm -hmm. I took mm -hmm. it around to the studios, and I didn't know anybody in Hollywood, nobody. I went down there with this car on an open trailer, and I left my house and got about 75 miles away, and the windshield blew up and broke. <sighs> so I had to go back home, take the broken windshield off, and I made a, a wing on there, and I, and I made stainless on the inside and black vinyl on the outside, and then you push a button where the top normally came up, down the wing comes up, oh, okay. and it said air brake. <laughs> <laughs> I sandblasted the words air brake into that flap. Went back to, you know, all the way to Hollywood, <clears throat> and I took it to the first studio, and then, <clears throat> you know, I just pull up the gate, and I said, here I am. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and, and where am I supposed to go? I'm late. I said, late. I said your late. transportation department wanted to look at this car, but I don't know their names. So, uh, <laughs> go down there, go down there. So then they told me how to find the next guy and the next guy. So I went to all the studios with that car in two you days. You made the whole round. Yeah, I had. That's pretty smart. I yeah. got, uh, <clears throat> I got Bill Cosby sitting in it. I got uh, the Smothers Brothers sitting in it, and uh, who else? I forget. Um, and you know the guy that, that played the, uh, the big guy that played Lurch on, uh -huh. on mm -hmm. 007? You know, and then he played Jaws. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jaws. oh, yeah, yeah, Jaws, yeah. Big guy. Yeah. He, he was standing right by the uh, <clears throat> right by the car, you know. And I took a picture of the car with him standing there. I didn't know who he was. See, he's all dirty, greasy right. looking clothes and everything. He, he'd been. You know, filming, but I didn't have a clue who it was. I didn't.